And the big thing that you're saying, the treasure, mm -hmm. I found that to be the nervous system. Mm, it's the first thing that is made when you're born. After, after you, your lungs, your heart, your everything right. comes from a nervous system, a tube, a neural tube that actually happens. Then the skeletal structure protects it. And then the muscles and everything else kind of grow on top of that. So it's very important that people understand that their power is locked in their nervous system. That's and so that's true. Well, I didn't know work. it was the nervous system. I just that's knew it was the treasure. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what, exactly. What advice do you give them to establish that the beginning stages of that power? Um, is I show them their power through muscle testing or a thought, and I show them where they're disempowered. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. I show them how they're empowered almost immediately. And then they say, what was that? And I say, and I don't want to get religious because I'm not a religious person, but mm -hmm. I am definitely a spiritual person. Yeah connected to the source yes. from all the research and the near life death experiences and all that stuff. But what I want people to know is that they have God inside mm -hmm. and that has been erased. It's being erased by powers that don't want people to know. Now I don't care what you label it or how you get to it, mm -hmm. but you got to get to it but because so source... many people are cut off from That's the right. source of life. That's right. And so they're trying to find ways to keep themselves afloat in this world, which is already a really tough place to be. Yeah. Right? And, and they do that on purpose, though. Mm -hmm. You see, here's the kicker. If you can connect, connect yourself to light, you get back everything. Yeah. But once you get everything, there's a moment where you're like, well, what does it feel if I don't have everything? And then you choose to sway or go to the other side or sin, as, mm -hmm. as religious uh, uh, individuals say it. Now, I call sin self-inflicted negativity mm, because there's great. nobody else you're hurting but yourself. Okay. And uh, when I teach it in the, in the seminars, they, people get it. They're like, okay, if I do this, you know, if you don't drink water, what's going to happen? Dehydrate. Exactly. Are you hurting anyone else? If you go on water strike, are you hurting anyone else really? <laughs> no. Exactly. You're the one. That's you're the one.